half for me, half for you. Oh, you took my fingers off. Oh no, fail. Ha, success. Are you ready to go to the beach? Yeah, we're going that way. Let's go. One more time, and then that's it. Zora and I have been hanging out here in Jack's Beach for the past couple days. It has been awesome because they allow dogs on the beach for as far as the eye can see, which was not the case with the Gulf Coast, which is where we were before this. What do you smell? Good stuff? Good smells over here? Lots of doggo paws, so I would say so. Oh, Mr. Music is back. <laughs> Safety first. We came to the Jacksonville area for a very specific reason. And I thought that I was going to film that vlog for that reason today. But then I went back and looked at the schedule and I realized that, oh, I was supposed to film it yesterday. Did not do that. But that's okay because there's another opportunity to film it on Saturday, which is what we will be doing. However, I sent an Amazon package to a Love's gas station Amazon locker near the filming location of the vlog. And that's a problem. Dispose of the trash at every opportunity. It's a never ending struggle whenever you don't have a trash can. It's like the car knew. We love loves. Now we just have to find this locker. Which I Success. The road lifer in me is so happy that these are bags and not boxes because boxes can be such a pain to dispose of on the road. Usually the pickup locations are on the side of the building. I've never had them in the front or the back before, but this one was on the back on the semi side, which easy enough. It's 
very convenient that this happened to be at a gas station because I have 23 miles to empty. So we will be getting some gas. As you might imagine, there's only one thing to do right now. And it's obviously to just sit around and do nothing. I kid, I kid. We have to go test this thing out. So there's something very bizarre about the speed bumps that I'm going over. They aren't calling them speed bumps. You see what that says? No, you don't. It says speed table. Who the heck calls them speed tables? Perforated and everything, they make it easy on you. Here she is. Oh, there's two mounts? Okay, time to get the doggo out. It is very large right now. Short hands up. There we go. Now we're making headway. Too much. This way, this one goes under here, oh yeah, goes this way. So I just have to do the belly strap, there we go, and this is not going to work one handed, but we're going to try. Oh look at this, ta-da, and now we just have to cinch it down so it does not fall off of her. But these are all super stretchy. As a side note, it does not come with any accessories as one might presume. So this is my GoPro bag and we have to fish out whatever we need. So we might need a battery, definitely need this camera. Good as new. Does it have memory? It does, look at that, being prepared. Does it have battery life? I haven't used this thing in ages. Hello, you're looking at me, looking at you. 50, it just went from 69% to 52% to 39%. We're losing battery rather rapidly. We're gonna steal this little piece off of my other GoPro mount. Just get it started like this. Zora, you ready? <laughs> it does not seem to be bugging her at all. She is not phased by this thing. <laughs> put this on her belly now. These straps loosen a little bit as she runs around and plays so I do have to tighten them up every now and again. As you can see it's kind of sagging on her belly right now so I'm going to cinch those down pretty good. Cinch this one down. Okay I'm not sure if this is going to work but we'll try. Zora you ready? Unfortunately, I lost my GoPro screw. The thing that connects the GoPro to the mount. So I am now back at the car and we're gonna see if I have another one. 
I'm not convinced I do. Well, this was unexpected. First thing I pull out of the bag. That's good for me. I'll screw these a little bit tighter this time. Actually, looky here. I don't know how my GoPro came off of that because it's still screwed in. Here's the one I just pulled out. Here's the one that's still screwed into the mount. How on earth did my GoPro come off of the mount? That does not make sense. Okay. Oh well, didn't lose my little screw. That's nice. You ready for round two? Let's go. Since I know you're curious about what the other Amazon package I got is, let's open this and show you. I got a very large bag of Glycoflex Plus joint supplements for Zora. Now, you're probably like, why on earth are you feeding your dog joint supplements? She is 10 months old and that is exactly why I'm doing that. Because she's a big dog, she does not have hip dysplasia as we've already had her tested for that. But I want to keep her as healthy as possible since she's a super active dog. The financially responsible side of me would stay on this side of town because I have to be here to film a video on Saturday. But the beach loving side of me says, screw that, we're going back to the beach. <laughs> back in beach country and it is time to go to the beach and get a little workout in. So we're on a rock there, which means I have to put 30 pounds in that backpack. That's 20. We got weight, sunscreen, water, a hat, just in case, a shirt, just in case, more water. I've got a doggo and a backpack filled with anything you could possibly need. And we're heading to the beach. So as I'm walking out of the parking lot, couldn't help but think I packed everything away, including Zora's doggy bags. It'd be a shame if she were to uh, decide to relieve herself right now. Well. We didn't hardly make it 10 feet out of the parking lot. <laughs> minutes and 
Zora's already dug herself an appropriately sized hole. She's still going. <laughs> this sand is cold though, this feels good. No wonder she's digging. So I just finished up a little lower body session, 17 minutes. So Miss Thing is still working away at her hole. Wild thing I did. Let's see, it was lower body. Don't remember if I said that or not. Body weight squats, regular lunges, jumping lunges, jumping squats. Rinse and repeat a bunch of times. It was a good one. I think Zora's had just about enough. She is barely walking right now. She's so tired. So I'm going to fill this massive hole. The way that I know Zora's tired is when she stares at me the entire way back. Like, are we there yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> Magic touch. Just like that. She says, don't mind if I do. One. Zora and I made it back to the car. We are both so tired. And there's only one thing I need right now to complete this day. And that is a freshly made peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Mmm. There's nothing like BB&J after you just spent some time in the sun. Well, I think that about does it. I had my PB&J, so I guess I accomplished everything I wanted to accomplish today. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm far from that, but thankfully there's still a few hours left in the day. It's just all stuff that is not interesting for you. So I will see you the next time I have something interesting.